Hi there and welcome back to It's Only Paper. I'm Lisa and today I'm going to be working in my Storyteller journal. I've already chosen this page. I'm going to be using parts of my um, December kit. Um, I haven't actually got the papers at the moment. These are just what I've printed off myself. It's quite early as I'm filming this. And I want to do a page, just a bit of a recap about this year and what kind of year it's been. So I am going to be doing that. Now the kit um, is kind of like pale pinks, blues and yellow. So I thought the yellow page would go really, really well. I do have a photo of Aidan and I and the colors happen to go really well as well. And I'm kind of thinking I would like it on there. I want to do something on this page um, to keep the yellow. I do quite like that, but obviously I need to cover up parts. So we're going to be doing that as well. I'm going to start off by getting some white over the page. So we're going to make a little bit of a base with my gesso, um, just so it's not so obvious when I'm creating. I'll probably end up sticking something over all this anyway, but um. Let's just have a little bit of a base. I do love that colour. It's almost like a mixture of like a yellowy and um, green, isn't it? What would you even call that colour? Like, it's not pistachio. I don't know, it's a lovely colour though. So I am going to leave that to dry. I may well end up getting my heat gun. Let's see how that goes. I've got a few other bits and pieces to do in the meantime but um, generally when you apply the paint like this it really doesn't take long to dry now whilst that's drying I want to have a look through my um, stash I want to find a butterfly punch I found a couple of punches I might use I'm just going to tear up this paper pop some of this on here like I said this um, it's just undo this mod podge like i said i'm um the papers they'll be a lot sturdier when they come these are just what i printed out on my own printer they're just like the proofs before i get the real ones but um i'm gonna pop this down with some mod podge like that i do like a torn edge we'll do the same again this up here let me know what you've been up to lately what have you been making are you all about the Christmas stuff at the moment or do you like me I like I like it but I also need a break from it as well I can't just kind of like do it all the time it gets a bit too much for me otherwise it is fun and all that but do like a little bit of normal stuff as well I don't actually know where I'm going with this at the moment it's more just to add a little bit of pattern cover up some of that wording there we go and I'll leave that to dry and that will be perfect on there actually I didn't actually let the gesso dry um, I'm sure it probably would have been better had I have done but I'm an impatient person when it comes to this kind of thing and um, whatever will be will be if it doesn't dry well if it bubbles up then that's absolutely fine as well it just adds to the final look of the page I'm just going to leave it like that I quite like that and again I'm not going to wait for that to dry although I probably should for the best effect but I'm far too impatient and I am just going to oh gesso or no do you know what I am gonna do let's get some modeling paste down let's get a little bit of texture I love this stuff it's so fluffy let's pop this down what I love oh it just sprayed me in the eye what I love about this because I don't wash my stencils I end up getting the ink from previous projects and I think that's so cool it's like magic you just never quite know what you're gonna get all right let's lift this are you ready look I've got a little bit of green and all sorts 
I think that looks amazing. Let's do it up here as well. Now, if you're one of those people that likes to plan your projects and have everything very precise and exactly how you expect it in your head, then this would not be for you. But then you would also have cleaned your um, stencils, wouldn't you? Right, let's get some more down here. I'm liking this a lot. I'm just loving this extra colour that wasn't planned. Look! Let's do it up here as well. I'm loving this. It's so fun. I go through phases with things. At the moment I'm just kind of wanting to be a bit more free with my things. And um, this is just what's making me happy. But that's what's so great about this kind of thing. It's only paper as I say so just do what takes your fancy. That is so nice. I am so happy with that. And it's all very textured as well. And doesn't that colour go so well? I said I wanted some yellow. I had no idea when I took this stencil out that it was covered in yellow. It didn't even cross my mind. I was just thinking of having white um, circles through. That could not have gone more perfectly if, it have, if I'd have wanted it to. I am loving that. I also wanted, and again, I'm not going to dry it. Um, I'm wanting to use this stencil. Um, I might pop it on here and just do some bits like that. I think I might do that. Now, am I painting? Am I spraying? I haven't decided. I'm going to spray. I've got this green uh, mushy peas. This was one of the stencils that um, I sent to my Patreons. Um, the top tier get happy mail every month and one month I sent out stencils. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. And I am actually going to let this dry. If you aren't a member of my Patreon membership group, the community, it's an amazing place to be. It's so cool. And there's lots of different levels. So if you just want to spend a couple of quid a month and have access to um, various bits and pieces, downloads, behind the scenes, um, there's always loads going on in there. Plus the lovely chat group. Um, that's all you need to spend but then it goes up to like online include online classes we also have extra we also do zoom crafty zooms which is also included in the couple of pounds a month but then you can go on right to having early links to videos extra videos happy mail sent every month um it goes up to 15 pounds a month and there's loads and loads and loads that you can choose from so it varies from a couple of pounds up to 15 pounds i'm loving that i think i am going to have a tidy up and get the heat gun out and my photo is perfect on there. This journal was never intended for like pockets or anything, but I'm actually thinking that I might do a flip with the photo. Or maybe I won't, I don't know. I think I might. I printed this off so badly, it's got lines on it. It's terrible, isn't it? Um, And then journal underneath. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's do that. I think that could be a good idea. Um, I want to make sure that my... Actually, that's fine. Let's stick this down in place. And this then gives me a little place for some hidden journaling, which I like the idea. I am going to cover the back of the photo and then I can journal on that as well. Also another list spot. Sometimes I find that, and I've done this a lot, whether it be scrapbooking or whether it be journaling, that I get really carried away with the actual page. And then I come to a point and I think I've got nowhere for my journaling to go. And I know that I've got a story that I want to tell as well. Um, and I've done that so many times in the past. So kind of thinking about if you have got a story that you want to tell thinking about where you're going to actually tell that story is quite important um, before you start sticking everything down so let's pop that on here the colors go so well don't they 
there we go so you get some tab tops in the kit as well so that will go on there and that will flip I'm not going to stick that down quite yet because I want to journal on the back of it and it just makes my life a lot easier so I like that I might actually also put that there I've got a little bit of that that gives me some space for some journaling then as well it's quite a busy page so like on my previous page I actually was able to do some journaling over the top and it's quite busy so I'm not actually going to be able to do that and as lovely as that camel is with the ice cream cones um it is quite cute but I've decided to do away with the camel sorry camel there we go so one of the papers that you will get um, has these word strips on, which I love. Whenever I'm kind of like designing papers and things, I'm always thinking of them as to how I can use them. Do I cut them or do I leave it like that? Let's cut some of these up as well. So I do my papers as A5s, which works so well for journaling. Let's pop these like that. Oh, I like that. That blue really works, doesn't it? That's really cool. Um, it's been a funny old year. It's been amazing in terms of what we've done but it's actually been the hardest year in terms of um, business-wise. It's been so, so hard. Um, it's very difficult to stay positive sometimes when you can't see things changing. I'm gonna pop that down there. It's really hard because obviously Money's tough everywhere at the moment. I mean, we've been so fortunate that we had some trips booked that we'd actually paid for during lockdown. And business for me was very good during lockdown. I was very lucky. But um, yeah, it's been a very difficult one. So it'll be interesting to see what um, 2023 will look like. I feel very nervous, I have to say. Very nervous, to the point when you know when things um, keep you lying awake at night. That's how it's been lately. Let's have some arrows, but you've got to stay positive, haven't you, and keep trying, so we'll see. I think also because of the type of business I have, um, it's never been taken seriously. So people just see it as like a little hobby. People don't see it as that um, you have bills to pay as well. And I'm sure people just think that, obviously, that um, I've got AIDS, so I don't need to worry about that kind of thing. But so, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's a tricky one lately. It really is. I'm liking this. I might stick these down. I'm still, do I do that as the thingy? And I, the other thing I wanted to do... I was going to either do some circles or some hearts. I haven't decided. And then do some butterflies on top. So let's see how these go. These are using the papers as well. Um, hmm, I quite like that. One there maybe. I like odd numbers rather than even. And then I was going to do some butterfly punches. No, I don't want those ones. I'm going to try something else. I've got some butterflies from some. It was a paper, a die cut paper, and I've punched them out. I've got a whole bag of butterflies. These are so old. Actually, there's various ones in here that I've kept. But I'm really wanting the darker papers to go with them so actually what I might do this is when you need a fancy die cutter isn't it I might actually just draw around these and see let's fold this over and then I only need to do one lot of cutting out 
Let's see what this looks like. I've drawn around it. Doesn't matter if they're not all perfect. I just really like this shape of butterfly. And I never like to use them because I don't want to um, not have them anymore. And I'd forgotten all about them actually and I've just found them recently when I was having a sort out in the drawer. Oh, goodness knows how many years old. Perfect. I like that. I'm not quite sure where I want to put them yet. I'm going to do some more though. Actually, I'm going to go with three like that. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to mudge podge these in place. I think I will just ink the edges. I'm going to use these amazing inks. I get asked about them every time I use them. And they are from Prima, but they're really old. Um, so I don't even know if they can be bought anymore. I don't think so. Stick those down like that. There. I like that. This is so cool. I love using the Mod Podge. I love how it doesn't go smudgy with everything. You can just happily use it. And I like the fact that it changes the texture of the paper as well. Um, I love using it with napkins. It's so much fun. Oh, that's something I might do actually. For Christmas presents, I might make some coasters. There, that looks cool. We're going to do the same with these. I think I am going to do that one. I might actually do some tape with this one. Let me know what you've been doing in your journals lately. Are you just focusing, whoops, sorry, on the Christmas journals? Or like me, do you often feel like you need to take a little bit of a break and just have a little bit of normality as well. I love Christmas, don't get me wrong, but I also love normal stuff as well, just the everyday day-to-day. -day. I'm not even going to decorate in my studio this year actually. I'm just going to have this as my, almost like my clean space, my normal space. I keep, I'm, this is new double-sided sticky tape and I struggle take the back tape off there we go I'm gonna do the same with this actually so how's this year been for you I've just stuck all that down by the way um, has it been a mixed bag for you as well I think sometimes what's nice to do is actually do a almost like a highlights page in your journal and actually try and focus on the positive that's happened. Um, that can be, especially if you haven't had a wonderful year, um, it can be a really good way to actually make you think, oh, actually, yeah, some really good things did happen. I was thinking the other day about, oh, I'd really wanted to focus on doing some things in the house this year and we haven't done very much. And then I was just thinking about what we have actually done and the fact that I've decorated the hallway. We've done a lot of work in the garden. Um, there's been quite a lot. Aid sorted out his office space. And it just made me realise that although, yeah, we've had a really, really busy year, we have actually done more than I realised in the house. Um, so it was quite good to actually almost stop and have a think about, actually, what have we done? I think that's quite a healthy exercise in itself. Pop this down. I'm just using the Mod Podge out, out the lid at the moment. Let's pop this down here. There. I'm not going to fully stick those butterflies down. I'm going to leave them like that. I would like to focus on some journaling. I'd like to do some kind of big um, title there, but I'm not sure yet what to do. I've decided to do my own title. Let's take this off here, using the paper to match the butterflies. And, right, so I'm just going to write out 2022. I don't think I've got quite enough. 
and I'm just going to keep expanding on it and going over and making the letters larger and larger. This is such a fun way to make titles and then you really kind of like exaggerate and then what I will end up doing is cutting them out let's do the same here and then they also the more you add to it the more that they link up and you can then cut them out this is so fun to do again if you've got a fancy cutter you can do that but sometimes it's also nice to do things yourself as well right I've just realized that's going to be back to front isn't it that was really stupid of me <laughs> right let's turn that around and do that again the reason I did that was because it was so dark this side. <laughs> right, let's try this. It might end up just looking a mess. But um, we will give it a go. Let's do a bit of fussy cutting. How many of you were shouting at me when I was writing on the white saying, you're doing it the wrong way. Let me know if you are one of those. It's funny sometimes, isn't it, when you're not the person doing it, you're sat watching and you can see it, but you can't actually see it yourself when you're doing it. I'm just going to fussy cut these shapes here. There we go, 2022. I'm actually really pleased with that. That's come out really, really well. Let's get some Mod Podge on there. And I'm just going to add a couple of other little bits. Let's add some strips along here just to like cover up some of the bits from the original pages. I do love a DIY journal. These are so much fun. And I think I will just cut up a few little arrows from the paper. So I will leave a link to this kit below. There's so much in this kit. And um, I just love all the kind of like the tearing apart and all that kind of thing. There's loads of stickers coming. We've got, oh, I love this really cute paper clip, an arrow. I'm going to stamp a tag and pop that on there. We've got a really lovely um, envelope as well, which is really cool. Love that. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got the embellishment postcard here. Hmm, I might use that actually. That's quite a handy one. It is actually a download. It would have been better, I think, if I'd have just downloaded it and used it on normal printer paper like I have done everything else. Actually, I really like that. Yeah, let's pop that on there. And I'm going to cut out this as well. I like the pink up there. And then again at the top, this is almost like a bit of a reflection page, I think. There. And then I think I'll take the arrow as well. And then I am going to go away and do my journaling. I hope this one has been a nice relaxing one for you today. Let's pop this on here. Um, it's felt a very relaxing one for me. Sometimes I think it is quite nice to do some normal stuff in the mix of the busy season I want to pop something on that there to cover that up um, I also while I was doing this I went around one of the butterflies with a black edge and if you can see it compared to that one I think it looks so much better so I am just going to do that just really roughly go around I just think it needs the black border sometimes just to help it pop a little bit more then I think I am pretty much done. I might go around. Could actually do that with a white pen. That might look quite nice. But um, it's interesting sometimes, sort of like having a good think about the year, 
what you've actually done, the positives, and I've written down my worries as well this year, and um, again, I think sometimes it's quite good just to get them on paper. Um, just get them all down, and I've written some things for this year. Keep smiling, forward planning, write it all down, stop isolating, make me time and get outside. I am very good at isolating myself and keeping myself wrapped up with just aid and um, not leaving the house, not speaking to other people. I've kind of pretty much cut myself off from most of my local friends. Um, it's just aid and me and although I like it that way, I don't think it's healthy. Um, I haven't driven now for many years since the start of COVID. I did have to take the car to the garage recently, but then we've sold it. So I haven't even got my car anymore. Um, I need to sort myself out. I know that's a conversation I've had with myself for a long time now, but I'm slowly isolating myself and I can see it happening. And um, it's not a good thing, I know that. But it's also hard to break these things sometimes. Isn't it? When you've got yourself into a little funk. Um, yeah, I need to sort myself out a little bit. I think I might just stick those butterflies down. Where's my paintbrush? Oh, there it is. There. I think sometimes as well it can, isolating yourself like that, it can really, it makes you lose your confidence when you only just stay at home and you mainly speak to the one person, see the one person. Um, yeah, it's not always a good thing. I want to just pop something on there, but I don't know what at the moment. Um, there was that butterfly that I cut out. I don't really want that. I might just even leave that be. It's not the end of the world, is it? Yeah, I might just leave it like that for the time being. Um, that's my page, my 2022, and then I've got my little flip there. Um, I'm chuffed with that. I love those colours. That's come out so well. I'm really pleased, and I've thoroughly enjoyed this. Actually, do you know, I'm just going to go. I always do this, don't I? I say I've finished, and then I add a, end up adding something. I haven't got my stickers for this kit yet. I could sh um, show you what they will look like. I've got the proofs. We've got that one. We've got die cuts. And these will be stickers as well. I've just printed those off. Um, oh, I have actually got... Oh, I quite like that. Actually, let's do it this side. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Um, what was I doing before I got sidetracked again? I was going to find myself a sticker or something. Yes to change would be good. I'm going to cut these out even though um, I haven't got the stickers. I can still cut this, these out because these will be the stickers. Lots of these are very handy actually. I'm going to use a few of these. They apply, really do apply to my page. Perfect, I like that. Let's have positive head. That's what I need to keep on my shoulders. It can be quite tricky, can't it, when you start worrying about things and things start escalating. It's very difficult to stay positive at times. But um, it's very important. I hope you are feeling excited about this kit. I'll we'll leave a link to it below. It's a real good one for the start of 2023 to see out 2022 and start the new year and maybe make some reflection pages and goals pages and have a think about how the year's been, how it's treated you and things you would like to do. So um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed making this page. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a very therapeutic one, very relaxing. I hope you've enjoyed this too. Let me know if you have and let me know what kind of reflection pages you're going to be making from 2022 and will you be making any goals pages for 2023? I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.